we're launching a paper today um, about the impact that making can have on the British economy. People get very confused about what makers are, and most makers are individuals who want to solve a problem for themselves. I think making is something that needs to be defined in a UK context. We really wanted to unpack A, what making was, and really sort of understand how we can accelerate growth in that area. It's basically a really useful way for people to start engaging with making, with technology, with all sorts of different processes that will then allow them to contribute to the economy in the future. Making is being captured from a grassroots kind of innovation platform here in London. I think there's a very good skill set of people in London. There's a lot of creative making companies growing because the right people are here. What new forms of collaboration are taking place? We're seeing companies collaborate with their customers in new ways, the way things are made, what they're made with is all in flux. This fundamental need to actually build back a manufacturing base in the UK is brilliant because it can start in the maker movement. Making things is actually rewarding, it's exciting, it's creative. Entrepreneurs and small businesses have a huge role to play in disrupting and supporting these new ways of acquiring skills and building infrastructure. Here East is going to have creative spaces, which is what's needed. Some of them might be pure design, where people can just sit there and think. Some of them might be for people to make stuff, and some of them are going to be for people to grow. You've got to have the combination. See, we always said it's about big and small, and that collision of smaller companies and larger companies coming together, that spark of innovation is going to take place. So we think it's a, a, a collision between maker and making, which we've had a really interesting discussion on over the last three years, and it played out on stage today.